Hi there guys, Michael Graham here from SME Skills Consultancy. This video might be a little bit unpopular, but I'm gonna share with you guys the reason why 90%, 99% of businesses fail, right? Um, really what it comes down to is it comes down to the fact that they're just not selling. And I know that sounds obvious, but that is gonna be the reason why some people watching this video are gonna fail as well, because they're just not selling, right? Um, you know, we've been in business for eight years, nearly, you know, we're, we're going to celebrate a decade very soon. You know, very few business, businesses make it past three years, let alone five, let alone seven, right? So to be past that hurdle, um, we're very excited about it. Doesn't mean doesn't mean we're, we're out of the woods, you know, you're, you're always building, you're always growing. But there's been some tough times, if we're honest, you know, every business has tough times. There's been some tough times where you're like, you know, you're like, oh my God, what are we going to do, right? Um, and at those times, those critical times, that's where we've seen the, 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 the inner value, the inner attitude that we have as a business and the core values that we have and how we step up to the plate, right? And what I mean by that is this, sales is a building a business, generating clients, generating leads, doing that. There's a lot of people in, out there in the marketplace that will tell you, you know, do this golden strategy, do this golden nugget, do this, do that. It's a lot of, it's a lot of nonsense, right? The, 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 the number one most simple thing is you've got to be willing to do the hard work. You've got to be willing to stack the numbers in your favor, right? You, you know, a couple of years ago, I'll give you an example. We were, you know, we were in a really, really, really tough situation. This is about five years ago, right? Um, or six years ago. We were in a really tough situation. We just couldn't generate. We were struggling to find prospects. We were great once we got a client and got them going, which is, you know, funny for a sales consultancy. Um, so we were great at that. And then we figured out how to run events, right? But we weren't really getting the right quality of people to our events. But here's what we did. We ran an event, right? We, we put a lot of effort into this event, right? No joke. We were cold calling every day. We were, we were making sure we got people in on this event, right? We got something like 60 something, 60, 70 people into a room, right? Out of 60, 70 people into a room, we tried to sell them a program. It didn't really work because it was our first real event. Uh, but we booked a lot of meetings off the back of that, right? In two weeks, in two weeks, we did something like 40 meetings. It was ridiculous. I remember it was ridiculous, right? We did 40 plus meetings in, in two weeks, right? And um, off the back of that, you know, we got, a, we got a, I think, something like 30 clients off the back of that, those 40 meetings, right? Um, but, but I can't stress to you how much effort it took Within a three months period, it took three months, you know, I'm saying we got those clients in two weeks, we didn't, because we had to build up to an event, we had to prepare, we had to do all of that. And, and when I look at it, you know, even sometimes I have to have this conversation with clients, because I've got to go, listen, you've got to step up to the plate, and you've got to work really hard at this, because when you work really hard, eventually what you get is you get lucky, and you get your easy wins, and you get all that kind of stuff. But to get that kind of stuff, you've got to kind of, you know, work hard at you know, in the, in the battlefield, in the, in the training ground, you know, you got to pick up that phone, you've got to talk to people, you've got to pitch people, you've got to be willing to make mistakes, you've got to be willing to get burnt a little bit, right? You can't expect to pitch, you know, it's, it's interesting, I, you know, we're very big in the franchise world, and, um, and one of our competitors, you know, they say to their new franchisees that to generate their first few clients, they're going to have to meet 300 businesses. I mean, yeah, that's crazy, but, but that, that kind of goes to show, and I was thinking about it the other day, I was like, yeah. I think when I first started to generate my, our first few clients, we had to meet a couple in the hundreds, you know, level of businesses. And I think that's a message that doesn't really get out there very often to businesses. People kind of expect an easy ride and they expect to get to the, you know, the top of the mountain with the Oompa Loompas <laughs> as quickly as possible. And it just, it just, if you want sustainability, if you want to be in this game long term, if you want to have a systematic way of growing your business, that doesn't happen. You've got to be willing to grind. You've got to be willing to work the numbers in your favor. Uh, and you've got to be willing to go out there and put it all on the line. Guys, I hope this video has helped you. Um, not, didn't mean to sound negative. Just, you know, a bit of a reality check. Have a great week. Have a great year. And um, I look forward to speaking to you all very soon. Thanks. Bye for now.